Good morning, Behavioral Neuroscience Fall 2021. My name is Dr. Eric Olson, and I am your professor for this class. This is a research area of mine that I've worked on for almost 20 years now. I primarily study the role of the neurotransmitter dopamine in motivated behavior, oftentimes within the context of addiction. Uh, you know, however, I have branched out to other neurotransmitter systems and research questions, but uh, you know, dopamine and motivation sort of sums up what I do. I study this in rats. I use uh, typically rodents as an experimental animal model. And then I, I did my training at uh, the University of Maryland School of Medicine and Wake Forest School of Medicine before that, which is where I earned my PhD. I was also a uh, you know guest researcher at the National Institute on Drug Abuse, uh, part of the NIH. But enough of me. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and jump to the syllabus here. And you know what? I'll, I will throw out some just fun information about me uh, while I'm on the subject. The uh, my my wife, uh, Dr. Lindsay Hamilton, also works at CU Denver. Some of you might ha may have interacted with her. We have two young children in elementary school. Uh, you know, we met in grad school where we were actually rivals, competitors, and uh, you know, started off as really uh, rivals. I mean, like we we would fight uh, pretty pretty uh, heatedly. Uh, but anyway, things work out especially if you, if you know how to argue before you get together, you're, you're in probably good shape. But, uh, you know, this class, oh, and a few more, I, I like sports, I like the Denver Nuggets, especially, I think they're the best show in town. I have a subscription to the opera, my wife doesn't like coming, I go sit by myself. But I like every other like genre of music uh, that you could possibly imagine. I like going to a few shows at Red Roxy every year. I like everything from like hip hop, like Run the Jewels, to uh, you know bluegrass, like Bella Fleck, to uh, uh, punk rock music. Uh, you know, I, I to metal. I've seen Slayer. You know, I, I I like all sorts of music, and I particularly like how, especially in America, you have great fusion of you know music, food, culture. That's that fusion that I, I really think is creating new sort of imaginary, imaginative stuff at this point from the main genres. But uh, let's get into the course itself. You know, here is the uh, required textbook. Uh, just so you know, I, I view the textbook as sort of supplement to help you out. Uh, how to do well in this course would be to, uh, you know, view the material that I give you, uh, take some notes on it, but then at the end, try to come back and describe or explain the learning objectives that I gave you. Uh, you know, it is those and the information that I'm giving you that I'm testing you from uh, the actual learning objectives and then the information that I provide you in lecture. Uh, I am not going to pull out esoteric information from the book, uh, you know, like that's just not my style. Uh, if you can explain the learning objectives out loud, that will give you the metacognitive research shows that you will perform better on the test rather than just like passive learning, like just watching my videos and then passively, like, like just mindlessly writing down notes and then reading those back to you in your mind. That's not going to help uh, very much. What would be much more effective would be if you did the exact same thing, but then did the additional step of uh, actually trying to explain or teach the learning objective out loud. If you can teach your teddy bear or your uh, significant other uh, or others, you know, about how, uh, you know, that particular learning objective, you are going to be in good shape. Uh, you know, there are going to be several assi other assignments in this class, you know, you'll have quizzes at, like once per module and there are eight modules here so about every other week. You're also going to have discussion posts and uh, what I call controversial material or critical analysis of sort of controversial subjects such as, uh, you know, is there even such a thing as free will. You know, uh, is the mind the, the same as the brain? Where, do, where does consciousness come from? Uh, you know, can uh, we reform the brain once it's gone bad? Like, what about in the case of criminal justice? 
you know, these are some of the things that we can explore uh, and you guys can discuss. For these, you know, I want you to know there is no right or wrong answer. And I hope that we will have a diversity of opinions and perspectives. All are welcome here. You know, this is not uh, somewhere where I or others should be policing ideas. Uh, rather, you know, the idea, what I, I will send out, uh, you know, guidelines for how to have, uh, you know, a good uh, constructive discussions on controversial topics. Uh, but in general, you know, I, I expect everybody to be uh, polite, you know, uh, discuss the ideas, don't attack each other. Uh, you know, that's sort of like the, the big one. But in addition to discussing these topics, I want every time uh, we have the, them, which will be again, once per module, eight modules, uh, you will also need to create three multiple choice questions here. The, the research shows that creating questions makes you learn the information more than answering them, uh, which makes an awful lot of sense. Again, teach the material, te like explain the learning objectives and then create questions rather than answer them. And you will have greater mastery of the material. So, you know, that is another uh, thing that you will be graded on uh, for the most part for completion, but don't give me horrible multiple choice questions or I will deduct further. We will also be doing a skill development assignment here. I will explain more of that later, uh, but, you know, basically this is a skill, uh, an attempt to develop what are known as soft skills. Uh, in this case, I am hoping to, uh, you know, develop a grit, acceptance, and, uh, you know, to, uh, to some like resiliency and uh, also to help just sort of build community. And uh, I, I find that this also helps you sort of feel uh, like welcome, like it, it should expose or demonstrate that, you know, everybody has exposed, has went through and overcome challenges and, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, there are certain things we have all done to overcome said challenges. What are they and how might sharing those experiences uh, help each other navigate the very challenging uh, road of life? Uh, you know, there will, and finally there will be uh, essays. Uh, oh, and I, I did wanna add that the quizzes are open book, open internet. You know, there will be a time limit. This time limit is tight. Uh, you will not have time to look everything up. If you are not prepared and organized in your thoughts, you will uh, have trouble completing the quizzes on time. Uh, you, then finally, there will be an essay assignment that goes in place of the uh, final exam. Uh, you know, I will cover this in, uh, you know, I'll send out an additional post about this specifically, but for every of uh, one of the eight modules, I'm going to provide you about two to four essay questions. Of these, you must answer one essay question for every module. So you will eventually have eight essays that you prepare. Each of these are relatively short. None should be over 500 words. Uh, you know, so, but I also want four of these eight to be researched, meaning that, uh, you know, four of them think of as just regular essay questions like you would answer in an exam in class. Like what I'm looking for on four of these is for you to just give me back exactly what I gave you. Uh, and that'll be uh, good enough for an A. However, there will also be four researched ones. And here you can pick any four questions to research that you want. Uh, you know, you should pick those that you're most passionate about and want to explore further. And here for these four, I am not going to be grading you on the information I gave you, but I'm going to be grading you on where you took it. Uh, you know, what did you add? What did you find? And uh, again, feel free to contradict me here. In general, that, that is also a philosophy of mine that, uh, you know, science is a process. And if anything, I think this COVID uh, epidemic pandemic really demonstrated what goes on with science behind closed doors, uh, you know, and you, you saw the mess. And that mess 
is science. It's real. You know, you don't just do one study and know the answer. You know, you do one study and then you do it like you have other labs try to replicate you and, uh, you know, the, the end product doesn't become clear, uh, you know, until, uh, you know, considerable amounts of replication. I mean, without a doubt, there are things that I want to be teaching you, uh, you know, that are controversial and not everybody agrees with. And you don't have to agree either. I encourage you to challenge things that I teach you in class, in the discussion forum, by email, uh, through our uh, uh, virtual office, or uh, on the essay itself. You know, just bring in credible material, and hopefully, it will open up a discussion into a controversy in science, which is pretty much every topic in science at some level, uh, even things that you. Uh, certainly except for granted, not everybody uh, might, uh, you, you will find. Uh, but, and then the, the big point of this uh, essay assignment is really uh, to help you learn how to learn. You know, that is what uh, is going to benefit you in five years, not the little fact that I taught you that you will forget in five years. So, you know, can you really guide yourself? You know, we're getting to the senior level classes and that's something you should be able to start to do. Finally, I just want to show you this uh, calendar here of events. Uh, you know, we are going to have uh, quizzes, the discussion posts being due, and quiz uh, your multiple choice questions on that critical analysis topic being due. Those are the main uh, assignments. You know, all of these were picked to develop sort of different skills uh, within the context of education, according to Bloom's. Oh, but I also I did also want to note this final essay, uh, midterm essay. So you know you have the eight essays that are due. Four of them have to be researched. I would like you to turn in one of those four researched essays at midterm, so I can grade it and give you feedback on it. So uh, you know that we're on the same page. Uh, I hope that makes sense. If not, please send me a. Uh, uh, any questions that you might have to the virtual office. I look forward to uh, reading your uh, essays and hearing your discussions uh, throughout the course of the year.